The whole system is an abomination. It used to be that the Fed was there for short-term liquidity issues because banks lend long-term and borrow short-term. Then, the Fed started micromanaging the economy and the stock market. Then they became the liquidity spigot for Wall Street. QE to save the system, in 2009. QE to save the all-time highs in the stock market, in 2019 and record employment. Same medicine for diametrically opposite conditions. Now, how can that be? The central bankers have disallowed the cycles that flush these excesses, and now the Fed is confounded by the mess they have created. The system requires constant expansion, so it warrants constant QE. The Fed is trying to keep all charts running low left to upper right and it's effing ridiculous. They have created a beast they can't handle. More QE will only lead to a bigger crash down the road in $20 big max. If we don't, then the compounding interest on the debt will get us, you can't fight the math in the end. There is no rescue, they have been reanimating the corpse for 10 years, the liquidity and fiat flows are all that is left, but the $120 billion a night is not providing enough free money in the system. The Fed will try to keep on propping up the markets by printing more money until they break the workers with inflation, then there will be a collapse much worse than the Great Depression that will bring in the mark of the beast. Cash and gold my friends. Welcome to the Atlantis Report. I bet the Fed and Trump will do anything and everything in their power to prevent the stock market from crashing before the election, even to the extent of going full zero interest rates, plus QE, plus repo, plus helicopter money, plus whatever as soon as the crisis arrives. But remember, printing will work until it doesn't. History is filled with lurid examples. When it doesn't work will be decided by many unusual factors already in play. Never before has the world had to contend with derivative markets, unregulated. This system was wired to pull it decades ago. Pain, lots of it then a new system minus the banks. This is the game we are in, the debt must ever expand or the whole system implodes. Interest, my friends, is ever eating up the dollars that were created by debt. If the debt is to be paid, then more must be created constantly to keep enough money in the system to pay the interest. When we can't pay the interest, it's game over. Money is debt. In our world since 1913. Never forget that. Today there is too much debt out there and these crooked banksters are lining up to see whom daddy fed will let live by handing them some fake money to keep their Ponzi afloat. Like shale oil, where they have loaned more money than there is oil in the ground. Who was the irresponsible one? Who should pay? The banks. They can go bankrupt, just like the rest of us can and do. JP Morgan added 11 trillion in derivatives to their books in the last couple of months, wonder how that will shake out. Who simply can't go whining to the Fed for a bailout? Derivative bursts can't be plugged up. Bring all down. It looks the Fed is being gamed by JP Morgan at the expense of the other banks. In every case JP Morgan makes out like the bandit it is. The Fed prints new and the American public is on the hook again for another round of QE. The Fox, mainstream media will play it up nicely. The Fed has no problems but they want to get ahead of China creating problems in the banking system, in case they hack into our system we need ample supply of cash on hand says Steve Mnuchin and Jay Powell. It will be a great Christmas for all Americans, we just have to watch out for the bad guys, the ones stealing intellectual property. Is it not that they are all so big now, that the amount of free cash in the system just is not enough for play dates? Once you start QE you cannot stop it. Trying the pullback that Bernanke promised in 2012 was a joke that lasted 8 months and died in December. They have been trying to play catch up ever since. But T-bills did nothing and here we are. A year or three behind what should have been QE forever, just to maintain. They are all playing big boy hide and go seek while taking each extra dollar they find and sticking into their personal pockets. Without QE we have a market collapse. We always knew the printer could never stop but at some point the 40 million people who pay taxes would do the math. 40 trillion dollars divided by 40 million equals we ain't paying it back. The great reset to end all resets is coming and there are a few very big unknowns, number one. When? Number two. Big war first or not? Number three. What does the new currency regime look like? Print trillions of dollars and somehow there still isn't enough money. I am still amazed at how many do not understand that every dollar printed since 1913 is a dollar of debt. And debt comes with this thing called interest. 
and the interest is never printed. Therefore there are not enough dollars in the world to pay the debt and the interest. We have to constantly borrow more debt money into existence to pay the existing debt because the interest ate up a bunch of the dollars we printed last year. As the interest gets bigger, the need for dollars gets bigger. That's why a long-term chart on the debt goes from the bottom left corner to the upper right. And a long-term chart on percent of interest charged goes from the upper left to the lower right. Larger principles can generate more interest expense at a lower rate. And that keeps the Ponzi going. It has always been a conundrum for the parasite to suck the most blood while at the same time not killing the host. These guys see the host fading fast and are sucking with all their might to get the last drop they can. There is no money. It is all debt. If you don't know that, I suggest you go educate yourself. If you do know that then start acting like it. They have gotten away with this scheme largely due to people's ignorance. Don't add to it. Official QE4 is the end game, markets may go up a little longer to new highs, but the MFERS are gonna crash straight down to the ground like the World Trade Centers soon enough. It just seems like the whole scheme is farcical. Establishing scores on only one day of the quarter, when banks can swap or repo out their bad assets for better, lower score assets, is just stupid and leads to market disrupting gimmickry that could ultimately collapse the market for a day or two. It's a stupid system. On the other hand, seems like Jamie Dimon has got himself into another whale of a trade. Hope it works out better for him this time, although something tells me it probably will. The financial system is abused and rigged to favor a select few, who simply don't play by the rules, because they and their markets are the rules. Fiscal responsibility for some, or suffer the consequences in the money markets, and total disregard for the financial rules with no adverse market reaction. The markets are rigged and I don't want to hear about, superpower status, king dollar, world reserve currency, petrodollar etc. That's why it's possible. There are no markets, because they are all rigged. When you add up the USA government debt, consumer debt, corporate debt, and unfunded liabilities. The answer is staring us right in the face. All these excuses and all these explanations to explain away USA exceptions from the rules. Russia cannot do this for its banks. The ruble would be worth rubble if the Russian central bank printed like the Fed. The system is dead. It's patently insolvent. Is there not one nation on the planet that will grow a backbone and refuse to accept the dollar as legal tender? Let me get this straight, the banks are turning in all of their high-quality collateral, red junk and subprime, to the Fed as collateral for cash with which they are buying bonds and leveraged instruments to front-run QE5. When the bad stuff blows up it will be socialized, and the profits privatized. Rinse and repeat. For most of the viewers there is no way you can trade the repo tightness, these markets are treacherous and very corrupt and if you go short they will do the tariff trade war game run the algos really fast and you'll lose. The entire monetary system is so broken at this point, we could go 100 trillion in debt and things wouldn't change. They literally just make money out of thin air whenever they want. QE is not QE the last straw, the US markets have zero credibility and trust left. The US and the US markets have lost its credibility and trust. These are the most fraudulent US markets in US history obsessively controlled and manipulated by thugs, morons, mobsters and the corrupt moron administration that are not afraid to show the fraud to anyone. Talk about zero credibility and trust for the US and for these rigged and highly manipulated markets. They are desperate and they want to have all your hard-working savings and investments in their hands, it is time for dippers to buy the dips and place their hard-working savings in the hands of thugs, mobsters. What could possibly go wrong isn't it right? Everyone should walk away from their car loan, home loans, credit card, student loans, etc. If these banksters can just play willy-nilly with their money and loan and loan until everyone goes belly up, then run over to Daddy Fed and get another basket of money to play with, after they have wrecked everyone's lives and sucked up all the real assets in the world. Then, screw them. When I get my bail out, I'll pay your own back. No come and get it bankster boy. Send you sheriff. Give it a month and when he can't get paid, he'll tell you to go F yourself as well. This racket is complete horse crap and it is time for the slaves to stand up and tell them to eat crap and die. Time to get rid of the central bank, return the currency control to the American people, declare a jubilee and cancel all debt, public and private. We reap what we sow. 
by allowing them to turn the markets into nothing more than a fraudulent casino the world's economy is at risk. A financial, monetary system, riddled with moral hazard and running on fumes. Wheels wobbling badly and the brakes don't work. But by all means, remain confident. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.